Here's our next uh, example and we are given this uh, circuit and we need to find the state space representation uh, with an output being the current that is going through the resistor. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find our energy storage so that we can pick those energy storage to be our state variable. And we can see that we have two energy storage, which is the inductor and the capacitor. Uh, hence, we have two state variable. And we can pick our state variable to be uh, IL and VC. And as we said, we pick our state variable and we need to find the derivative of our state variable. So we are going to find VC dot is equal to something and IL dot is equal to something. And first, we know um, that IC is equal to C DVC DT. And we also know that VL is equal to L DI L DT. This implies that our VC dot it's going to be 1 over C IC and this implies that our IL dot is going to be 1 over L times VC. Now having this information uh, we can start working through the loops and we are going to look at the first loop first and uh, we will see how we are going to solve this. So looking at, at the first loop, looking at loop 1, we have our input voltage which is equal to the voltage across the, the inductor so that is VL plus the voltage across the resistor. Now, we know in our equation, we cannot have VR because in our equation, the state should be an VC and an IL. So, since the voltage across the resistor is in parallel with the voltage across the capacitor, meaning that that voltage is going to be the same. So, I'll just write here that VR is equal to VC. Now I can rewrite this equation as our voltage, supply voltage is equal to VL plus VC. So, and we know what VL is because we found VL as here. So we are going to substitute that. We are going to rewrite this equation as VI input voltage is equal to VL. We know our VL is LDIL DT, so we can input that. So LDIL DT plus VC. And I'm just going to rewrite this in terms of the uh, voltage across the inductor, meaning that I'm going to have LDIL dt uh, is equal to uh, minus uh, Vc plus the supply voltage. So then we can get rid of the L to have dil dt is equal to 1 over L minus Vc plus our supply voltage. So we found our first uh, uh, derivative of the state. So this means this part is done. The, ne the only thing that we need to find now is Vc dot. And we can find that using uh, the second loop. Looking at loop 2, we know that IC is equal to IL 
minus I R. Here we have this is I L and here we have I C and here we have I R. Okay? So all we're saying is that the current that is going coming from here is equal to this current plus this current. Meaning that this current is equal to this main current minus this current. That's all that we've written. We want to write it in terms of IC because we know we want our VC. If you write it in terms of IC, you'll be able to find that IC is equal to C dVC dt. Hence, in the end, you are going to have our VC dot, which is what we want. It's equal to 1 over C times IC. That's exactly, that's what we are working towards. So, IC is equal to IL minus IR. And we know that IC is equal to C dVC dt, which is equal to IL minus VR over R. We know that the voltage across the, the resistor and the voltage across the capacitor were the same. So, we say that VR is equal to VC. So, I'm going to rewrite that in terms of VC because in our state equation, we do not want VR. We don't want anything that has to do with VR, IR, etc., etc. Okay? So, by understanding the circuit, we'll be able to manipulate uh, this equation until we write it in the format that we want. So we can say we have C dVC dt is equal to IR minus VC over R. Now, it's, this equation, it's, uh, it's, the format is coming because if you look at this, we have C dVC dt is equal to IL, which is what we want, minus 1 over R times VC is what we want. These are our states. We have this our state. All we need is just the VC dot, which we will get from here by get, getting rid of C. So, we can say that uh, if we get rid of the C, we're going to have dvc dt is equal to 1 over c times il minus 1 over r vc okay and this is it you don't need to go further because this is your vc because if you write it in our usual form this is vc dot is equal to 1 over c times il minus 1 over R VC. Okay? From here, we can write this into our uh, matrix form. So, meaning that I'm going to have this big matrix is equal to some t A matrix times our state variables plus some input equation. Okay, so we are going to fill in this. Here we have VC dot and IL dot. And we have our state variable as VC and IL. And our output equation, which is our, um, I mean input equation, which is uh, the input voltage. So, what we are going to have is, from, for VC dot, we already found VC dot is here. VC dot, we have minus 1 over RC. So, we're going to have minus 1 over R times C. For IL, we have only 1 over C. So, we have 1 over C. And for IL... Where was IL? 
I L was this equation, this equation, okay? For I L, V C we had uh, minus one over L. So we are going to put in uh, minus one over L. And for I L, there was nothing, so we had a zero there. And we had our input voltage, meaning that you're going to have zero here and 1 over L times VI, 1 over L, okay? So, but we are not done. The question says, uh, if the output is the current through the resistor. So, the current through the resistor, just from Ohm's law, all right? The current through the resistor, we know that current is equal to voltage over resistor. Okay, so your current through that resistor is equal to that voltage over the resistor. Now the voltage here is the same as, this one is VR, right? Voltage across the resistor. This can be written as VC because we said VR is equal to VC over the resistor. Which implies that we're going to have 1 over R times VC. So, here we are going to say the the current through that is going to be, which is our output, you're going to have your VC and IL. And at VC, we found it's 1 over R and 0. So, this is our final solution. As you can see, this is our X dot. This is our matrix A. And this is our states variable and this is our b this is our u and this is c x and that part is going to be y this equation is in the format of x dot is equal to ax plus b u and output is y is equal to cx plus du where du is equal to zero